All right, maybe pick two colors of paper. I'm just showing you some options here. Don't use the same color as your background paper. My background is yellow. I picked green and purple today. I'm gonna use the scissors to start cutting your shapes. One easy way to do that is to cut a strip of paper like what you see and you can cut smaller shapes from that. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bit of green too. Let's see what we do with the purple. Oh, I'm making some squares, yes. I noticed in the G's bend quilts, there were a lot of squares and a lot of rectangles, a lot of um, lines that were repeated. All right, now I'm gonna start arranging them on my paper before I glue them. I wanna make sure that they look the way I would like them to before I put any glue on my paper. Now, you might wanna glue a little bit more earlier than I do. So, let's take a look. A pattern, I wanna think about patterns. So I'm repeating shapes and colors today. Some are gonna be really easy patterns. Some are just gonna be me repeating shapes throughout my entire background, my, throughout my entire quilt square. I'm also gonna repeat my colors over and over and that creates patterns too. What patterns do you see right now? Patterns of color, patterns of shape, purple and green. As I was making this, I was thinking about, again, what I saw on the G's Bend quilts. You want to keep filling up the space of your quilt square using the different colors and shapes. Notice I'm repeating my shapes, but some are bigger than others, and that's okay. I had an idea right here that I wanted to put some squares in my corners. It kind of looked a little bit like a quilt to me. Oh, and in between to make my pattern. All right, I'm switching it up just a little bit. I 
I have a big green square now. What am I going to put inside that square, I wonder? Because it's not done. It doesn't have enough detail yet. Again, remember our words today, friends, are quilt, pattern, which is repeating lines and shapes and colors, G's bend quilters, and then the materials you need today are your paper, glue, scissors. You can also use newspaper if you would like, or magazine, or even just draw the design in your notebook. All right, friends, that is about it. I might finish up a few little parts here and there, but I am going to stop the video. Enjoy this project. I can't wait to see what your quilt squares look like.